Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, beings and beasts from this side of the universe. You are watching WoW Films, and it's Cataclysm at last. Hey, Cataclysm. Uh, good to be here. Um, it is currently 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm running down here to grab my flying. What do I think of Cataclysm? Well, can't tell yet, because this is literally, I have just logged on, and I'm off to buy my flying training. Off to do my trek to 85. Now, how long can I resist not flying in Azeroth? Let's see. So, we'll start, um, we'll start about now. How long can I resist? Not very long. I'm flying already. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You see, but now I am. And wow. Stormwind, I have to say, is a pretty cool place. I like Stormwind. Um, it's, it's a lovely city. Um, I've been walking around Stormwind while I've been playing WoW since 2000 and, well, for almost four years, so about 2006. And, um, yeah, I, it's, it's cool to actually fly in Stormwind for once because, um, you know, kind of nice. Um, what am I going to do? I basically recorded, um, well, I've, so far I've recorded about a minute and a half uh, and soon I will record um, a bit more uh, of my levelling in uh, Vashir. Yes I am going to Vashir because I feel like it because I think being underwater will be really cool um, and I get a free mount and after I've done that so I'll just record some of it because otherwise with my levelling pace we'll have about 30 hours of uh, footage to watch which believe me no one will do if you really want to watch 30 hours of footage I will give you 30 hours of footage um, look at that storm wind for the win um, and it's frozen oh no it hasn't so yeah then when I get to 85 I'll make uh, Leveling guides on my alts. I'll put some worgen leveling, goblin, or as I prefer to call them, um, night elf slash lepernome leveling. And I'll put up some guides for instances, raids if I do raids, and that's about it. Here we are on the boat to Vashia, which is kind of cool. This is Bud. Where do I know the name Bud from? Bud, Bud. Ah, Bud is the guy who, um, he's in the Grizzly Hills, and he's the one that does that quest with you where you, um, where you imprison that, um, that troll, you remember? Well, you may not have done it, but, um, yeah, it's a pretty awesome quest, uh, if really annoying, and, um, I'm expecting it to be really overcrowded. When I got to uh, Wrath of the Lich King, actually, uh, I got it five days late because I ordered it off Amazon. Not a clever thing to do. This one, I pre-ordered it from the shop and managed to get it on the first day. Woohoo! Uh, so here I am. It's probably going to be really overcrowded. Oh. Bud doing? No, Bud. He's going to jump. Don't jump, Bud. No. No, we don't jump, Bud. Oh well. Bud will be missed. Dearly. Or not. Goodbye, Bud. Oh well, what a shame. Life goes on. Um, <laughs> sorry, I just had to say that. Uh, let's see. Just wondering, actually, with my uh, recording time does actually last 45 seconds, because... Uh, if you've watched my uh, Northrend levelling guide, that's the island by the way, Vashir, which we're supposed to be going to. If you've watched my Northrend levelling guide, you'll know that my uh, camera has the tendency to cut out at the most inopportune of times, which is rather annoying. And so, um, if any of the footage here does get cut out, um, and my narration keeps going into the next clip, then I apologise in advance. And... Um, now they're having some complicated dialect. Some more complicated dialect. And we're almost at a ship, but there's a sunken ship. In fact, it's not sunken, it's only half sunken. It's capsized, and there are some people standing on top of it. And oh no, oh god, not another octopus. Thought we had enough of him with the World Cup and all that, but uh, no. 
turns out that there are more octopi to go around. Octopuses, octopi, whatever. Ah, we're being killed. Oh god. What's going on now? Uh oh. Oh no, it's picked me up in one of its testicles, I mean, uh, tentacles. Oop. Oh, it's thrown me into the water. And I'm sinking. I can't move. There's a giant octopus thing. His name is, I think. What's his name? The guy who's supposed to be in that new instance, throwing in the tides, but anyway, like Ozumat or something. Big octopus swallowing the ship, a bit like in Pirates of the Caribbean. I love that film. And I'm being eaten by a naga. Fireball underwater? How does that work? Ah, gory. Anyway, ooh. It's put me in a bubble of life. And I'm being floated off to somewhere. I'll say it's going to feel very weird in greens, equipping greens after almost two years of wearing purples. It's going to feel very funny wearing greens all the time. Ah, right, anyway, let's speak to this shaman guy. Now, sea legs. So that is apparently the thing which um, allows us to uh, go breathe underwater, even, um, and run faster. Uh, which is kind of cool. Ah, let me out. Doors. Ah, there we go. I've got to find some conch shells and some starfish. Or one conch shell and three starfish, actually. And, um, as of yet, I still have a breath bar because I haven't got him the regents that he needs. As you can see in my who list, there are a lot of people here. And there's a lot of competition and it's really quite annoying. Anyway. I'll complete this quest and I'll get my uh, sea legs ability. Yay! You actually get a lot more experience per quest than I thought you would at this level. I thought you'd get about 1% per quest. I hear from the people who are 85 already. <coughs> Sado, sorry. Um, seeing as I've only just logged on and they're level 85. Sorry, but um, that's doesn't give you a very good indication, does it? Yeah, but they say you, at level... Uh, 84, and you get about three quarters of a percent per quest. Uh, I can live with that, I think. I um, suppose it just draws out the levelling experience, which should be fun if uh, any of the levelling in Azeroth at the moment is an indication to go with. Now, yes, I'm levelling as prot. Don't know why. Um, I was just prot for the last bit of Wrath of the Lich King uh, because it just let me solo basically anything. Um, as I'll be used to soloing things, I think at 85 I can probably change back to Retri and still solo stuff, seeing as I'll have like 110k health or something. Um, and I should be okay, you know, soloing like uh, Burning Crusade raids and stuff that I was able to solo before. Um, as you can see, my gear's not very good. It takes me about 30 odd seconds, no, probably not quite 30 odd seconds. It takes me a long time to kill a mob compared to. Uh, some of the people here who I've seen are one-shotting people. And um, now I'm just going around basically giving out bubbles, my own bubble of life, to people. Which is cool. I'm saving people with bubbles of life. <laughs> Imagine if you had one of those in arenas and people said that Divine Shield was overpowered. Well, haha, <laughs> now I've got a bubble of life. OP Pallies. No, Pallies aren't OP. Just watch the uh, video that I made earlier on that. Pallies are not OP. End of story. No discussion. We. I love this. You're sort of like waltzing along the sea floor, dancing, skipping. Whew. Oh, I'm tired. Uh, it's a goblin. No, it's a. It's a night elf lepernome thing. And he just knocked me back, but it didn't really work because I sort of stopped in the water. Which is kind of weird. By the way, when I get to 85, I will also hopefully make a gold farming guide. Um, I was going to make one for Wrath of the Lich King, but I didn't get around to it. I'll probably make one with the dailies in Tolbarad, which I'm rather excited about. And I think that maybe I'll also you make one 
I'll try and find some other way of doing it, you know, mining herbalism or something, considering that mining mats are going for about 10,000 billion gold per bar at the moment. It might be quite profitable, although it'll probably have halved in about two weeks or something. But after that, um, after the next two weeks, I can see uh, auction house prices being more or less stable. Um, hopefully also very costly, because uh, as an enchanter, miner and herbalism and skinner across all of my characters, I'll be able to uh, make quite a lot of money out of that. Anyway, let's go back here. And I hate getting up there. See, as you can see, there's a guild XP cap, um, which is kind of annoying. I heard that Blizzard are going to nerf the guild experience, which is really really irritating because uh, our guild doesn't actually get that much experience and we'll probably never hit the daily cap again which is irritating um, just disenchant some stuff while all that role plays going on lesser celestial essence hmm. sounds posh that's the that's one of the coolest well actually it's not really but it's it's one of the cool bits about a uh, new expansion new enchanting mats um, and what's kind of funny is that this is the uh, first expansion I've gone into without being, well, really without being a bit of a noob, because uh, when I went into the Wrath of the Lich King I was a bit of a noob because I only started playing about uh, a year before that or something, a year and a bit maybe, and so uh, up until, you know, about four months into the Wrath of the Lich King I was what a lot of people would consider a bit of a noob. Um, so now I think I'm quite knowledgeable. Uh, I think you just pick up some knowledge and walk along the way. I'm now defending a ship from all of these Naga people. Why does it have to be Naga? Anyway, uh, you can pick this up. Um, I expect there will be somewhere around the region of 10 parts in total. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. Watch part 2 and subscribe. Goodbye.